What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today we are here to talk about controlling outlet power devices through the Pixelbook using this smart plug here. This is the TP-Link HS100. This system is a minimalist system as it requires no hub and works great with Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. This hardware allows you to control devices anywhere and set multiple schedules. So the goal of this video is to show you how to set up this hardware by TP-Link to work with the Pixelbook so you can control outlet power devices with the Pixelbook. Now not only will this work with the Pixelbook, it'll also work with your Android device. Now the reason I'm using the Pixelbook is because it's the Google branded Chromebook and it also came with the Google Assistant baked in. Now many of you may have a different Chromebook device and I do want to say I tried to use the Samsung Chromebook Plus but apparently OK Google was removed from the device. Now I do want to say I checked for available updates to the Chrome OS on the Samsung Chromebook Plus and everything was up to date so it seems like I can't use that device at least for the time being. So if you are looking to do this your best option may very well be on the Pixelbook. My goal is also to be courteous to my viewers so instead of saying OK Google from here on out I will be saying OK G that way I do not activate your personal assistant. I think I've already done this enough in previous videos. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. So because this is going to be a minimalist system, we don't have a whole lot to deal with. There are only really three things in here. We're gonna have a survey card right there. Then there's going to be a product guide that's going to have our instructions. And then we're going to have a smart plug right here. So this is going to be a nice system here. As you can see, no additional parts. There is no hub required. So it's going to be a simple, easy setup. So let's go ahead and talk about the design of the smart plug. Now it's going to have a really nice color. We're going to have a white with some gray accents. And this is kind of cool because it matches the Pixelbook pretty good. Not only does it match the Pixelbook really good, but it's going to look nice on your outlet wall plates. Okay, so the TP-Link smart plug is going to have an odd shape and it's going to be pretty thick here. Now if you find the thickness in the shape of this smart plug discouraging, the good news is there is another smart plug by TP-Link that may be thinner in profile and have a more rectangular shape to match your outlet wall mount plate. And I'm gonna go ahead and post a link of that in the description below. Now because it's 2017, most of us probably have already done this, especially if you're watching the YouTube channel, but you have to connect your devices to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Now the instructions claim that this device will only work on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Now part of this step is to plug the smart plug into an outlet. Okay, so we're gonna start things off by booting up the screen recorder here and doing a search on the Google Play Store for the Casa for Mobile app. And I'm doing this on my Android device. Now once the app is installed, go ahead and open it and create an account. Once you create an account, you'll end up at the home screen where you can see all your devices. We're going to add a new device by clicking on that plus icon. On the next page, simply scroll down to the device you have and click on it. The app will then search for the device and find it. You can then give it a device name. In this case, I'll be naming mine the kitchen lamp since I'll be connecting two lamps to the device. Along with the device name, you can also pick a customized icon for the smart plug. The smart plug will then search for your Wi-Fi network and connect to it, and it may undergo a firmware update. Once the firmware update is complete, the smart plug is ready to use and it will show up in your device list in the app. The next step is to link the CASA for mobile app with Google Assistant. So we're going to go into our settings and click on the settings for Google Assistant. In the next menu, we're going to click on Home Control. Here we can see all the devices we've already connected. We can connect another device by clicking on the blue plus icon. You'll then find a list of manufacturers. Simply click on the manufacturer of your device and then check for new devices. As you can see, I had to sign back into my TP link account to link it with Google Assistant. Once the accounts are linked you can then change the nickname of the device and assign it a room. All right everyone so here we are in the kitchen and I got my smart plug right behind this countertop here and we're going to be using that one smart plug to control two lamps and I've got a lamp right there and a lamp right there. Now the downside to the smart plug is it only has one outlet on it so if you want to control two lamps you either have to get two smart plugs or you have to get something that's going to add more outlets to an outlet, which in case I have this here, we're gonna plug this into the smart plug and then we're gonna plug both lamps into this. Everything's plugged in, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna give the OKG command just to test this out. So here goes, okay Google, 
turn on the kitchen lights. Sure, turning on the kitchen lamps. Okay, so after I've been running this for about a week, two weeks, I can tell you that using the Pixel Bug to control outlet power devices has been very consistent. Now, not only has the system worked great with the Pixel Book, but it's also worked great with my Android device, specifically my Nexus 6P. And the cool thing is my apartment, when I come in, I have to go upstairs. I have an upstairs unit, so I have a light aimed specifically at the stairway, and I turn that on from my car through the Nexus 6P, and it works perfect. There is also nothing like getting in a bed, getting all bundled up, getting all comfortable, and then you say, okay, G, turn off the light, and the device just turns it off. Now, the cool thing about the system is if you have your Android device set next to the Pixelbook and they're both turned on, Google Assistant will be triggered on both, but it will fault to the Pixelbook, which is really cool because you're probably going to be on the Pixelbook and you're gonna to wanna to give your commands through that. I've actually turned my lights on and off from work, which is 13 miles away or so. And just to think you can do something like that is just really cool, but it's also a little creepy. Now here's a tip I would like to share. If you aren't going to be on the Pixelbook, but you wanna use Google Assistant through it to control your outlet power devices, or your house lights, anything like that, you're gonna to wanna to put it in kiosk mode and set it somewhere where it can hear your voice. Now for me, I would set it on the kitchen counter and it would just look nice there. It just adds to the futuristic touch because the Pixel Book is a very sleek, minimalist machine and it just adds to the apartment, to the house layout, just to make it look and feel that much more cooler. So my final thoughts, I love the system. I love the TP-Link smart plugs. It's very minimalist. There's no hub required. The app was really easy to use, follow directions, complete setup. The system was very reliable. I didn't have any problems that were related to it. Sometimes when the commands were not processed, it was just because I wasn't close enough to my Android device or to the Pixelbook. But surprisingly, the Pixel Book seems to pick up a lot better for an OKG command compared to my Android device. And yes, the system works great from outside. It works great when you're miles away. And it probably even spooks my dog out when he sees a light just randomly come on. And he probably doesn't know what's going on. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below. And if you can, hit that subscribe button. It'll support the channel so we can continue to put out more videos. And until next time, Leon checking out.